remember how you did me. As dirty as the laundry in a handful of a little boy's room, your mind and your common sense must have been left there too. Along with your ass whoopings that your mother never gave you, spare the rods for the child and in this room is filled with your narcissistical, egotistical ass traits that I wish I could have broken down and buried underneath your bed of demons. You see your skeletons begin to grow skin. Uh -huh. Getting more and more comfortable with just walking in your walk-in closet, they turned it into their sitting bar. Having conversations in their seats about who can take the most shots at exposing all your insecurities. I get it. You never had a man or a father in your life to teach you how to be one. I couldn't imagine raising a little boy from you, you not knowing how to be man yourself. How could I dare trust you to raise one? Okay. Let alone mine. You see, I'm grateful for my daughter. She'll understand how to distinguish love from love. She'll understand that everything that glitters ain't gold. She'll understand that just because a man tells you he loves you, that that don't mean you give him your heart to hold. She'll embrace the love of a father, figure even though her own, make more decisions to not be there for her. She'll be coddled in the strength of the arms of the man who took action to step up. She'll share sacred memories of him and never have to question what it's like being just a baby with no daddy. You see, I just knew I break generation of curses in my family with you and be the one to end this cliche of baby mamas, but um, um, even me, as strong-willed as I am, a woman of value, standards placed high, you were the one. No, not to marry, nor be the one that I love forever, but the one who damaged me good. The one who ripped out my heart from my chest just to patch it back on my sleeve and put it up for your own personal memoir. Come on. Place me in the museum of your memory at the top of the line, the good woman you fucked over because you didn't know how to love properly. I swear to God, you made me hate you. I don't mean this from a standpoint of love, because I know that's what you're gonna say. I know the cliche. Women only say they hate you to the man that they really love. No, I really mean this shit coming from my soul. With every ounce of energy pumping from my toes, and these emotions ain't nothing new. And if we being a thousand percent honest, yes, I'm a poet, but am I still human? Laying my heart on this stage, so yes. Sometimes I hate looking at my own flesh and blood that came from my womb, cause come on, man, she looks just like come you. On, come on. But I still look in her eyes with love without seeing the reflection of your lies. I still hold her in my arms without holding her accountable for the shit you did to me. I still wrap her in the thought of knowing that I ain't never leave her side. The way your absence wrapped its arms around me all those lonely nights when I was pregnant with her. Like brass instruments, isolation curved to my body, I still play with her. The way pain played down my spine like piano notes searching for the right chord. Me and her have a deeper connection than flesh can connect our souls on one accord. Playing through the strings of life, she is my favorite instrument. I love to hear the sounds of her melodies and her cries. And to this day, I give my daughter all my love because I know that she is my blessing in disguise. Oh.